I would like to welcome Joe Shanley. Where is Joe? Where's Joe? Auctioneer extraordinaire. Yep. And I'd also like to ask my volunteers who are running for the auction to come on up at this time. Yes, it wasn't nice to be invited to the Grasso Tarbox family reunion. <laughs> Is there a Grasso or a Tarbox in the room that didn't get a gift? We'd like to make sure you have something to take home. Uh, let's get this out of the way with regard to, not out of the way, let's put them out of their misery. Dave Tarbox and Sue Grasso are bidding against each other. No? <laughs> Goslin? Is that who's who's Sue that's bidding on this item? Sue, is it Goslin? You didn't go to Catholic school? You, okay, you need a little refresher course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's give uh, you're at 150, and as far as I'm concerned, you own it, unless Dave Tarbox, tar tar box, take me a while to warm up. Dave, are you in at 175? 175, that would be two to you. Two to you for the trip to Orlando. 200, please. Uh, 190. 190. <laughs> okay, this is how this works. You keep cutting it in half, I go back to him immediately. 210, please, sir. Okay, left side. Oh, sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. 210? 210, 215? Really? Good for you. you. You drove him up from 135 <laughs> to 210. Dave, congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you. It's worth about 80 bucks when you're actually there, so. Okay, we have a, a number of items. We'll move right through them. And I apologize that you don't have them on your table, but you've had a chance earlier to look and see what we're offering. Dan Sheehan's blocking it because he wants people to be looking at him. Okay, the, the, the first is a $200 gift certificate for a power cleaning from Pro Time Cleaning Services. Uh, Bob is my godfather. He's not mine. Who is Bob? Who's Bob? Oh, okay, it's the tar box table. So you're giving a little back, you're not just taking it away? Okay, and the only restriction on this is that there's an opening bid of $100, and you have to live within 25 miles of Kingston, New Hampshire. Okay, so who's, get out of town? $100 please, where's 100 in the room to get a little cleaning done? 100 please, 100 please, looks like it is 100. Okay, now you're a tar box related no. somehow, right? Okay. Don't know them. Don't know them, okay, well you're in for 100, advance to 110 please, advance to 110. All spotless homes here, sold. Thank you very much, give Jackie a break, let her have her house cleaned. Okay? And who's keeping track of the bids? Dan is great. Okay? A cranial sacral, sacral massage. Anybody know what that is? That's when a stranger takes the back of your head off and rubs a couple of lobes. Uh, it's supposed to be a wonderful thing to have done. It's not something I would recommend for anyone who is nervous at all. $70. It's donated by Janet Sylvester for $35. Opening bid, please. This really is something worth doing if you've never had it done. Okay, you're at 35. How about 40 to you? 40, 45, please. 45, please. Keep chewing. Go ahead. 40, 45, 45, 50. 45, sell it to her. 50 in the room. Anywhere? 45. Thank you very much. 45, 134. Premium Club Suites. The following tickets will be located in a corporate suite generously, generously donated by an anonymous donor. Every year this donor steps up and sends us these Premium Club Suites for Celtics and Bruins games. With the Bruins not playing this year, the donor has come up with a tremendous package of Celtics tickets. Each ticket is valued at approximately $125. The first two tickets we're selling are to the Celtics versus the Heat on tax day, April 15, 2005. Okay. Minimum bid, opening bid, $100. Two tickets to see the heat. There's 100 right there. Where's 125? I have 100 looking for 125. Sell it to them for 100. Moving right along. 100 once, twice. 
Sir, you just bought yourself some great seats for 100 bucks. If that wasn't enough, there are three tickets to see the Celtics play the Heat on April 15th. Three tickets, minimum bid 150. For who? Different game. I know. Same game, same night, same box. There's three more seats. I see why the guy you do that job is pretty funny. Okay. Thanks for coming back. I wondered if you'd be here from last year. Is that the same guy? Yeah, that's the same guy. Okay. Well, let me do the math for you. You just bought two for a hundred. I'm asking three for one fifty. So you're not getting screwed yet. That's going to come. Later. Wow. Okay. Minimum bid 150, please. 150 somewhere in the room. 150 somewhere in the room, please. 150. Don't let the fact that you're going to be sitting in the same box with him. Okay. Anybody at 150. Can't let him go for less than 150. This is where charity comes into it. You've got one friend. Do you think you can scare up three more? Or are you, just, are you just hoping you'll have a friend by April 15th? <laughs> Take an ad out in a personal single, single male with basketball tickets. No, come on, I mean, you know, work, work with me a little. If you got 150 bucks in your pocket, if you got 150, you can spend. Give me the other 150 added on to it. No, you already paid 100. I'm not going backwards. So 150 for five. No, 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 no. Two, <laughs> two fifty for five. It still averages out to fifty bucks a piece. Like you said, I don't have five. All right, no. thank you very much. All right, we'll pass on those and we'll save them for next year, and we'll sell them to you for last year's tickets next year <laughs> for fifty bucks. Two tickets: Celtics versus the Mavericks on March thirtieth. That's coming right up. Opening bid a hundred dollars. Anybody interested in seeing the Mavericks? Anybody interested? In, there's 100 for the Mavericks over here. Where's 125? 100. Where's 125? 125 in the row. Sell them to them for 100. We won't drag this out. Sir, thank you very much. You're going for $100. Don't apply for him. He didn't give me a bad time. <laughs> okay, following right along with the math, we have two more tickets to the Mavericks. Same game. Same guy has bid one thousand dollars. Thank you for not waiting for me, sir. You will bid a hundred. Okay, is there anybody who would like to take it away from him? <coughs> Thanks. Have a good time, Dan. Write him up for the four. Round of applause for this gentleman right here. Here's a surprise. We've been holding this back. These are obviously very, very difficult to come by. Two tickets to the Celtics versus the Mavericks on March 30th, 2005. <laughs> Opening bid of $100. Dan, see if you'll put another 100 down there and take take oh, all. Yeah. You got them all? Yeah, just keep them Yeah, I've got two more. You want them? You just want the four? Okay. Would you like to spend the 100 bucks just to keep the seats empty so you have extra room? <laughs> You're all set? Okay, thank you for your generosity. Anybody in the room for 100? Pass on them. Okay, six tickets to Celtics versus the Pistons on March 11th. Coming right up, Premium Club Suite at the Fleet Center. $300 opening bid. Anybody? <coughs> this, 300 for bidder number one, three, whatever. Okay, 300. Where's three and a quarter? Three and a quarter, please. Going to take the 300 and run. Done. Thank you very much. Have a good time. That's a good buy for six tickets. And a round of applause for you. That was one of the tar box people over there. I was just... What, did you get new credit cards or something? What, what's... Dinner for four at the Sheridan in Portsmouth with a gift certificate for four to the Seacoast Repertory Theater. So it's dinner and theater, value 350, minimum bid 150. Dinner, at the, dinner for four at the Sheridan. And the theater for 150. Where is it in the room? 150 is over here. 150, 175, please. 
150, 175, where's two? Looking for two, I have 175, two please. 175 once, dinner and show, 175 twice, gone. 175 right over here. Another tar, are you a tar box? No. <laughs> You'd like, are there, are there any left? Are there any single tar boxes here? We, okay. Let's see, two Red Sox tickets. Did somebody suck the life out of the room before I got here? Is that where you all got some place to be? Last year there wasn't a sober breath in the room. I <laughs> Would you mind giving him the cranial massage? <laughs> okay, two Red Sox tickets. Box seats behind home plate. Let's see, it's for the Toronto Blue Jays on July 2nd. Fourth of July weekend, opening bid $100. Behind home plate at the Red Sox, tough to get. Well, I, I've got Sean in the back. Sean, what's your bid? The minimum bid says, let's see. It says 100, but I'll take two. 150, thank you. Two to you, sir. <laughs> Have a hundred and a half looking for 175. One and a half looking for 175. 175. Two in the back, two in the back, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, please. Two and a quarter, he's in. Two and a half. Two and a half, you're staying with it. Two and a quarter, two and a half. Where's two and a half? Two and a half, two and a quarter is going to take it. Is that in? Let him have it. Two and a quarter once, twice, and last call. So thank you very much. <laughs> Call for four with two cards at the Wentworth Country Club in Newcastle. No restrictions on this gift. It's a value of $500. Opening bid, minimum bid, $300. Call for four at the Wentworth. Any golfers in the room? Any golfers in the room? All, all basketball fans. Okay. 150. They're telling me a minimum of three. There's 150. I'll sell it to him for 150 now unless I see a card at 175. 175. Now we might have an auction. Two, sir. Very generous. He's in it too. Two and a quarter. Get in the hang of it. Two. Anybody at two and a quarter? Thank you. Have a good time. John Sununu, Senator John Sununu has donated a flag to be flown over the Capitol building. This was kind of, uh, not kind of, this was very touching last year. I don't know if the, the high bidder is uh, here tonight. It was a lady whose husband went to Iraq. <coughs> and uh, she bid, and bid very generously. So the kids were the recipient of her kindness. And also, I can speak for the group, we were extremely proud that uh, she gave us that opportunity to, to participate in her, uh, what I can only say, must have been a very difficult moment. Is she here tonight? No. No? Okay. All right, now that I've said that, is there anybody else going to Iraq? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, the minimum bid on this is, let's see. No, this is wide open, folks. This is United States flag to be flown over the Capitol. Who'll start me at $100, please? 100 please. Has a dedication or a donation to someone you love? I'm asking 100, but not for you. <laughs> I'm asking 50 from you. Yeah, I'll take 50. Thank you very much. How about 75? There's 75. Where's 100? 100? 75 I have looking for 100? Getting a little sleepy thinking about it? There's 100. Okay, 125 back to you, sir. Think about it. 125. Ooh, 150? See, there's a rhythm here. We're going back and forth, back and forth. You guys are thinking about it. Take the weekend. 150. 175? Sell it to her for 150? Anybody 175? Thank you very much for your bid at 150. Okay. And how do I say his name? Morgenus. Morgenus Landscaping, once again, has been kind enough to donate five yards of landscaping product to be delivered anywhere in the seacoast. Uh, it's an opening bid of $50, and this is probably one of the great practical joke gifts ever. For 50 bucks, you can have a load of 
stuff to put in somebody else's lawn. Jess said, you give him the address and he'll dump five yards. That's a big truck. Okay? Even funnier, do it to your neighbor so you can watch him. Where's $50 for five? There's 50. 75, please. 50, 75. Where's 75? Sell it for 50. 75. What is it? Well, let's talk about it. It's five, load, five yards of landscaping material which would be peat moss or dirt, possibly gravel or manure. <laughs> so we're at 75 with you, 100 in the back. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Filling in that hole, covering that person up. 75 once. Desperate Housewives part four. 75 twice. So, thank you very much. Yeah. One night stay at the Sheridan, New York. Anybody going to New York in the near future? Value at 205, bid 100. Room in New York for 100 bucks. Room in New York for $100. How many beds? <laughs> you only need one. <laughs> Possibly a day bed, yeah. <laughs> There's a hundred over there. Where's one twenty-five? I have a hundred. How about one hundred twenty-five? Where's one twenty-five? One twenty-five. One twenty-five in the room. Sell it to him for a hundred. Sell it to him for a hundred. Sold for a hundred. Thank you very much. Have a good time. That was this gentleman right over here drinking red wine with his lady he's with. Yeah. Yeah. No? yeah, I've been caught with that one before. Undeclared sign. What does that mean? No? I'm reading what you wrote for me. Hockey stick. Value undeclared sign. I can't take credit for undeclared. That would be um, another Catholic school graduate, Mr. Sheehan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hockey stick. We've got a rape. Okay. Well, we know what the value of a Ray Bork hockey stick. He's in the Hall of Fame now, signed by Ray Bork or Sal Grasso just before the event. <laughs> but it says Ray Bork. Okay? So let's start this off at 250. 250 easy on eBay. I haven't really checked, but I can say it with a microphone, make it sound good. 250 anywhere in the room? 250? 150? Anybody heard of Ray Bork? Anyone here at hockey? Okay. Yeah, they're going to play again sometime, he, and he's done anyhow. Hundred dollars, please. Take it away. One hundred somewhere in the room. Anywhere. One hundred. There's a hundred. Where's a hundred twenty-five? One hundred one twenty-five, please. One twenty-five somewhere. One twenty-five. Sell it to him for a hundred. Everybody happy with that? Ooh, that is a deal. Sell it to him. Sell it to him. One one hundred dollars. Bitter number. 137, thank you, sir. I'm going to take a, a short, try something a little different. There are, there's a placard on your table that talks about sponsoring a child. And the reason we put it there is uh, at charity events, benefit auctions, uh, everybody's very generous. They pay to come, they pay for sitters. Uh, they, they take their personal time, they donate items, they bid on the silent auctions, they buy raffle tickets in order to win balloons, prizes within the balloons. Something else that happens is we find that not everybody gets to participate in the live auction, and everybody would, but there may not be something that they have an interest in or the level at which they can contribute is, uh, is superseded by the values of the items. So what we put together here is what they call... Uh, uh, fund a need. So we're having a situation where it costs, or it costs $200 to send a client through the program. So what I'd ask tonight is, is there anybody in the room that would like to sponsor for $200 a child to go through the program? It's a lot of money to ask. I know you've been very generous already, but if there's anybody that would like to at 200 just put up your bid card. Now I know what the priest feels like on Sunday. Are there any sinners in the room? Not a move. Nothing. 
How about a hundred? Half a kid. There's a hundred dollars there. Thank you, sir. Anybody in at fifty? Send a leg. There's fifty. Thank you, Sean. Twenty-five. How, fifty over here at one hundred nine. Somebody writing these down? Thank you. Okay, so we've got one whole kid through. How about twenty-five? Let's put a number of cards up at twenty-five. Skip pizza night next week. Put twenty-five up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that another one there, 105? Is that you? Yep. Give me up. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. That was just a direct ask for some help, and you, you rose to the occasion. We appreciate it. <laughs> Two UNH hockey tickets versus BU to see Ray Bork of the hockey stick fame. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, you just you you run your show. I'll run mine. Please. Come see Ray Bork's son playing for the Beanpot Champions BU. The hockey tickets are donated by Tom Parks, and the value is twenty dollars. And we'll let him go for twenty dollars. With value is forty, we'll let him go for twenty. Where's twenty to go to the Beanpot? There's twenty. Twenty-five, sir. Twenty-five, thirty. Thirty. He's in. Thirty-five. 35, 40, 40 down here, 45, 45, 50. Where's 50? 45 I have, looking for 50. 50, please, sell to him. There's 50 in the back. 55, 55, 60, 60, 65, 65, 70, 70, 65, 70 anywhere, 65, 70, 75, 75, 80. 80, make it 100, make it 100. Oh, think about it. There's 100. 110. 110, 125, 110 the U.S.L. Thank you very much. <laughs> Three days, two nights at Sunday River, donated by Scott Pettis and Janice Sylvester. Do you have a place to stay or do you just get to go to Sunday River for three days and two nights? <laughs> Sleep in your car. <laughs> Hopeless romantic, Dan, aren't you? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that there's a, a condo with this. Hillside condo, great. $400 value, they're willing to let it go for 100 Where's 100 Okay, this ought to be interesting. I'll start with the lady first at 100 go to 150 the gentleman, 200 back to the lady. Two, 250 please. 250 please. Have two, 250 please. Sell it to her for two, and 250 in the room. Where's 250 in the room? How about two and a quarter to give me something to do? Two and a quarter, two fifty back to you. Sell it to him at two and a quarter. Sell it to him at two and a quarter. Where's two fifty anywhere? Sir, have a nice time. That's a good buy. Two and a quarter right there. <coughs> okay, uh, it's kind of a speed round. We have three gift certificates. Three gift certificates and uh, what I'm going to do is the first card I see up on the first, on, the, on the, each item, is going to get it. The first is an Ore House gift certificate for 50 bucks, And this is basically, you give us 50 we give you 50 in a certificate. I'll start with this side of the room for this item. $50 to take it away, $50 to go to the Ore House. Anybody in the middle at $50? Anybody in the middle? Left side, $50. Nobody's going to the Ore House, even trade? $50? Wow. Now let me make you feel bad. Let me explain how it works. You give us 50, we give you something back that's worth 50, not like a hockey stick. <laughs> how do you feel now? Let's try the dinner horn for 30. Where's it? You're going for 50? Thank you very much. I knew if I begged long enough. I felt like I was at home. Okay, the dinner horn for 30. Dinner horn for 30, who's going to the, di the dinner horn for 30? You know, your wife's working for a paycheck and you're just giving it back. Good for you. You love the dinner horn. $30, you're going. We'll take your money. Molly Malone's for 50. Molly Malone's for 50? Molly Malone's for 50. Sean Graham. That was hard to figure out, huh, Sean? Just put it against your tab. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have a 20-inch television 
that was won in the balloon raffle by Rene Leverrier, or Leverrier, and is it Rene Leverrier? Okay. Did you marry Leverrier? No. Okay. So it was like a cruel joke your parents played in a Rene Leverrier. <laughs> I'm not planning on coming back next year. So <laughs> well, it was very nice of you to donate this 20-inch TV. Uh, this is a gift. We can start it anywhere. We'll, where's $50 in the room for a TV? Take it. Everybody knows what a TV is. <coughs> Thank you, sir. We don't need a TV. He needs a TV. $50 is going to take a TV. Where's 75 $50 for a TV. The Chinese are killing us, and this shows it. 50 bucks. Thank you, sir, for your donation, and thank you for your contribution. Okay? This gentleman over here, for $50. Okay, let's see. A big event for me here last year was selling a Moe's sub for $65. <laughs> Dave Wilkins purchased it, and Dave... Uh, when Moe's, the people that own Moe's, were told about your generosity and dim-wittedness, they sent a t-shirt, and they were hoping you would go to the store and walk in front of it on Saturday afternoons with a sign that says, I paid $65 for a Moe's, and they wrapped it up to look like a Moe's. If you wouldn't mind, come on up and get a t-shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Wilkins for $65. You never used it, okay? That is sad. But you're not going to get your money. Would you like us to ship it to you? Oh, that, it'll be in the mail. It takes six days to get there, so it should be perfect. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, we have an opportunity to sell another $4 sandwich for $65 or whatever it will bring. I think, Dave, are you out or are you in on this one this year? You'll do your best. Okay. Five dollars, please, for Moe's. With this year, you don't have to wait a whole year like Dave did. <laughs> we have a t-shirt. Where's the five dollar bid? Five dollars for Moe's. Dave's in at five. So I didn't hear you. Fifty. Have you never won an award before? Is this... He has a TV at fifty. Yeah, you, could, hey, you want to sell your TV, sir? <laughs> okay. All right, I've got, I've got 50. Is there anyone in the room that would like to take it away from Dave who desperately needs the attention? 55, please. 55 somewhere in the room? Put Dave out of his misery, 55? Anybody at 75, just to be cruel. <laughs> 50 once, twice. You know, I tell this story wherever I go. I was in California and, and, and at, a, at an auction for a Christian school, and a bunch of auctioneers got together. They raised $400,000 for this little Christian school at an auction. And the guys were talking about during the year the things that they had sold. And one guy had sold a motor yacht for 3.5. Another guy had sold a... Uh, sold a uh, a hunting lodge on a mountaintop, and all I had to offer was a five dollar sub for sixty five bucks. <laughs> and they all went, "Wow, why can't we get bidders like that?" So come on up and get another T-shirt for fifty bucks. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, say it again. Thinking of being the next Jared. That's probably. the next Jared. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. And that concludes my participation this evening. Thank you all very much for coming. Thank you.